Alrighty, so um, here at RF Safe, we have repurposed um, some of our shelving. Um, that's what we're using is some far field UV, which uh, lots of peer reviewed studies have shown that it can inactivate uh, viruses. And this is very, very important because they say that this coronavirus can't survive on you know, our packages coming from China. It takes about three days for these, these things to get here. But what about inside the bag? I mean, when they, you know, did somebody cough inside the bag? And how well would that be protected? How long can that live? Well, I can't find that information anywhere. And so until I can, all of our products coming from China, and we're going to be dealt with very carefully. And uh, no packages will be opened until they have gone through a serious UV um, disinfectant uh, stage here. And I am going to put them at the top and bottom. That's why the, the uh, glass is there. And, um, you know, technically the viruses could be killed in a matter of uh, seconds. We're taking no chances. These guys are going to sit up there for about an hour. <laughs> but conventional UV light can penetrate and damage the skin and also cause cataracts. This type of UV light, called far UVC, can't get past the top layer of the skin or the tear layer of the eyes. It really does have the best of both worlds. It really does kill influenza virus and it really doesn't uh, harm you and I. A newly published paper from his lab shows even a low dose is more than 95% effective against airborne flu virus. How do you envision this being used in real life? We could see it being used as overhead lamps in uh, doctors' waiting rooms or schools or uh, any, any type of hospital or uh, airports, for example. Or airplanes. I was sitting in an airplane a couple of days ago and the person behind me was sneezing away and I was thinking to myself, now if we only had far UVC lights in the ceiling of this airplane, maybe I won't get the flu. Hey, that's what we're doing here at RF Safe. Um, honestly, uh, the far field UV, um, this should be something that's, that's really seriously looked at as far as a, a government response. Um, we don't even know if this is a biological weapon. I mean, the bats were hibernated a thousand miles away. So it's really unlikely that this came from a bat in a market that didn't have any bats. But there were bats at the bioweapons lab. And, and this particular strand was certainly there. And the fact that it's four slices of perfectly matched HIV um, DNA with this particular um, coronavirus, which has never happened in nature before. Um, as far as I'm, I'm, I've read a lot of the studies, a lot of them aren't peer reviewed yet. So we're going on a lot of information that just hasn't even had time to go through the regular review stage. So we just don't have a lot to go on, but from what we do, we got to be careful. Um, because this thing might be designed really not to stop. And we may have to you know, this could be a biological weapon, so that means we have to mount up, um, and you have to make sure that you're ready. Our country has to make sure that it's ready. There are a lot of new technologies using RF that could be implemented across airports, could be implemented everywhere, in the hospitals, all over, and we could really be knocking this virus out. But we got to step up and use the technology that's at our disposal. It's not just about a vaccine. We we got a lot more technology than that now. Um, and RF is a great way to start to combat this thing. Uh, just as I'm doing with my products before they go out to you, this could be done at every airport. We could, uh, you could run the lights through the airplanes. Um, we could be manufacturing these things so fast. Uh, the parts are so cheap. They're the one thing that there's not a run on right now. Let's get them. Let's make them, um, deploy them in every airport. They could be made so fast. Um, anyway. I hope somebody out there is listening because uh, if this thing is as bad as it seems like it could be, we're going to need a technological response, not just a, you know, not just a CD to CD response. We need to mount up a true defense. RF technologies is certainly a good weapon against these sort of viruses. And I hope that people will pay attention um, because this isn't just good for my products. Um, you know, this, the, the particular light that we're talking about, far field UV, this is not the same UV that's going to give you cataracts and, 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 and it can't get past the, 
the uh, just the outer layer of dead skin on your body, much less interior skin. So it would be much, much uh, safer for us to be exposed to a very minute amount of this type of radiation in an airport um, and, uh, and know that it was virus-free and you were going to leave there and not die in a few days.